So welcome back guys to more riveting woodcutter simulator 2012 It seems that you guys are going crazy over it So let's read the mission for Toronto The Canadian Wood Quality Institute is holding the annual Wood Quality by Region Research Convention next month I'm sure that's going to be a sellout Our company is entering this year for the first time We are only entering with our selection of wood chips Wood chips are to be delivered to the nearby factory We are hoping to finish among the top European wood companies so what we need is from trees we cut down to logs and then from logs we get wood chips. We need two truckloads of wood chips which we have this special card down on the bottom right so let's just click OK. The one thing that really stresses me out about this mission is that we have five and a half hours. I'm not sure if they expect us to last um, that long for this mission. Just this mission lasting this long doesn't really sound like talking about sound good talking about last, whatever you guys know what I mean anyway um, what we're supposed to be doing is uh, getting the wood chips by the time the time runs out I really do love the chainsaw a lot more than that truck so we gotta just go up in the right way and then we cut down automatically I'm not sure if you guys like it because you can't really zoom out so I'm not sure if it's uh, the best to view uh, like this I'll probably use a bit of both but the one thing that I really need this episode I'm not sure how long it's going to take but I'm not going to do the whole mission this episode because if any of you guys are veterans in the woodcutter simulator series there's been two previous games I have no idea how many logs do we need to process to get the um, wood chips going I'll show you what I mean so once this tree is cut down now we'll go over to this truck which I'll show you which is based in a whole new area well every map is in a new area but uh, something completely new we just need to wait up for this to limber up as well there we go it's been limbed Alrighty. now I want to go to that truck come on teleport me teleport me there we go so here we are in this little factory where there's lots of wood chips there is a little thing which I'll show you which we deliver our wood chip trucks that looks so weird a ramp pushing the truck all up in the air so all the wood chips fall down but I'll explain a little bit more later we just got to go down this hill as you can see it says wood chip truck fuel status 0% we've got to fill it up 100% and I think once we fill it up 100% and we deliver it to that little ramp um, that would count as one wood chip load or so it'd be half well, one out of two basically so once we get that done, um, I, I still have no idea how many logs we need to get one truckload full. I'll show you once we get there. So I will try to get, edit out as much driving as possible. So getting from point A to point B isn't as long and strenuous for you guys to watch. But the one thing that I really would appreciate with this is a map. Unfortunately, there are none. And maps would definitely go a long way because it's really hard to actually know where to go. We're going in this little dirt road, which... I doubt this truck is actually supposed to go along, but that's just the way I chose to go. And what we are supposed to do is, with the wood chip truck, go all the way over there. And this is the little wood chip pulp mill, I guess you'd call it, where it uh, processes the logs into wood chips. So we just have to angle that up right. We've got to reverse into it as well. Something like so should be good. Alrighty, now we've got to reverse, so... I'm the worst reverse parker, it's just ridiculous, so... Actually, we, we are going good, we're going good. Keep going that way. And straighten it out. It's almost perfect. Look at that. I would argue that that is perfect. Ah, nice, and it opens for us. Ah, okay, because when I was playing by myself, it didn't open. Oh, I guess I didn't park perfectly enough. That's really cool. That explains a lot to me then. Okay, so now that we've cut the tree down, we get this glossy piece of machinery, which I have a love-hate relationship with. What we've got to do is auto-center the vehicle as well. And we don't need to lock the joint as of yet. Let's just open up the little claws, lift it up as high as we can and find that tree that we cut which is over there shouldn't be too hard now that you guys told me that we can actually lock the joints which is a godsend it helps me out so much i wonder how long this mission is actually really going to take us hopefully it's not oh no are we stuck we are legitimately stuck up this hill 
Wow. Okay. That sucks. Are we supposed to get this then? Maybe they want us to push it? Alrighty, that should do. That's good. Seems like it's flat enough ground, so... Probably need to go that way a little bit more. Alrighty. Now, let's just lock the joints, even though it's not at the best angle. But... Oh god. Alright, that should be good. Lock it now. Keep on reversing. Lock it again. We're going way too fast. I need to slow down. And we should be good. Just keep reversing it. Beauty. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, now, lower. If we can actually see. Lower. Space bar. Lift it back up. Yes, we've clawed it. So, now, what we do is... We're going to deliver it over there because we're cutting it into logs now. Which I think we did last episode as well. We, I showed you how the log mechanic works. I'm pretty sure I did. So we have to deliver it there. And then, then once we get the logs, we deliver it over to the pulp mill. But this is my priority right now. I really don't want this log to fall down. So I'm definitely keeping an eye, an eye out for that. I think we should be set though. So now we've dropped the goods off. And we will have the logs coming out any moment now. So let's just get ready put this car into position or truck into position I hate how the roof is always in our way once we are driving anyway I love this expressionless guy looks very interesting typical redneck with blonde hair nothing against people with blonde hair but it just looks like with his seedy clothing as well anyway we are cutting away so let's just get ready so we have to fill up this car this truck by uh, up to a hundred percent I guess so I wonder how many logs are going to be necessary for that. Hopefully it's not going to be like 16 for 100% or something like that. It's going to take a while. No wonder it's at five and a half hours, but we should get that pretty easily. So, here we go. Let's lower this. Try to get the first one before even the second one comes up. Beauty. Let's run. We got it in time. Perfect. So, oh, let's keep going forward. Go forward. Now we drop this thing over there. Oh, God. Actually, I need a sense of the vehicle. That would help out a lot. All right. We've got to raise this up as high as we can so we can actually reach over the side over here. The railing. And then we drop it off. And then the wood mill would do its job, which is dandy. There we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Actually, let's select the truck because it says how much percent we filled it up. So it's at the moment 0%. See, nothing's happening. I'm not exactly sure how much we need... Actually, no, it is one. There we go. Oh, perfect. So if so that's only four so that's only one tree that we need to cut down ah okay so maybe we won't even take this as long as i thought previously had thought so let's keep on doing this then and let's just get these four done and dusted and then that's going to be one out of two hopefully and then we should be all set it shouldn't take that long at all i don't even know why they gave us five hours then i guess you'd really have to be a special person if it's going to take you five and a half hours to complete this then again i am a seasoned veteran i have to say <laughs> all right Lift this up and let's do that yet again. And now we're on to the final one, so that should be sweet. We, now we have to drive the truck back up to the factory. Now we'll see what we'll have to do after that. Hopefully, that's just going to be equal one out of two then. Oh, and it actually fills up pretty realistically as well. So that's a third, no, no, that's, that's three quarters, sorry, of the, of the truck field. And actually, it rises up realistically. You guys can see really slowly, but it does rise up. Good stuff. Alrighty. It's going to be at 100% very shortly, and then we should be able to drive off. Hopefully, the doors automatically close and we don't drive off and all the sand, <laughs> all, the, all the wood pieces fall down. What did I say, sand? It looks like sand. Ah, magic. Alright. 100%. I wonder if the car handles any differently. I didn't think it would, but. Game's not that advanced. Meanwhile, while we're talking about advanced things, uh, believe it or not, Farming Simulator 2013 is coming out, and as there is a bit of gossip around it. The uh, one of the main guys in Excalibur Studios, who is the publisher of Farming Simulator, said a couple of different things in that 
interview with GameSpot in Asia, uh, he said that the Farming Simulator 13 is based on a complete new rewrite of the code. So it's going to be completely new. It's not going to handle like the previous Farming Sims. And actually, which way do we go? I think we go, yeah, this way. It's not going to be like any of the previous Farming Sims. And also, after a year of like, after a couple of months after Farming Sim has been released 13, there is going to be some console versions maybe. So that's going to be really cool, Farming Simulator on the console. That, I'm sure that would really pick up because, believe it or not, Farming Simulator, 13, uh, Farming Simulator 2011, sorry, what has been one of the most popular games in a, like, one of the most popular games ever. It sold about 2 million copies, 1.8 I think it was at last count, so almost 2 million copies, which is pretty amazing uh, considering it, like it's a simulator game and it's really, really amazing that it just sold that many. Maybe not most popular games of all time, but definitely like in the past couple of years because like there's Portal 2 obviously which has sold like some good 4 million couple of copies or so and now I just need to find out where we need to go I don't think this is the right way because there's a hole there no that's not a hole. oh whoa 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 we don't want to be resetting our vehicle right now with all the wood chips anyway I think we should this is the right way to go and now what something like so there we go oh whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, how cool! Oh, nice. Automatically lifting up. The hell is holding up our truck up? That makes no sense. Anyway, oh, they added nice sound effects. Something different as well. I wonder if it's going to go one out of two. We might even finish this before this goes into the five hour mark. Yes! Oh, wow, this is going to be simple. What the hell did they give us that much? Anyway, so let's go cut a tree down. Actually, we can't do it yet while this is happening. So I've picked my target, my tree of choice, which is going to be this one. As they say, variety is the spice of life. So now I'm going to be using the tractor right now. I'm going to just angle it up a little bit sharper, something like so. It's almost perfect. Actually, it probably is. Here we go. If we pull the handbrake here. Oh, come on. That is so close. Uh, that's not going to work at all. Nope. What do we need to do? Come on. Alright, uh, let's keep on going. Actually, we're too close to the angle to it. I think that's what it was. There we go. That's pretty simple. Now, I have to admit, this guy has definitely grown on me. It's actually quite fun using this machine now when you have learned how to lock the joints. Because previously it was the most frustrating thing as you guys saw in the first episode. I just thought this game was just ridiculous. But it is actually proving to be quite a bit of fun. And I think we'll have to push this thing up a little bit more because that tree stump is in the way. Just push this up. That should suffice. Oh, oh actually it might be too much in the air. No, that's no good. Hope that little push. Actually, that's probably just made it worse, hasn't it? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to have to angle it up correctly. We're at a pretty shocking angle right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, G. Actually, it is on the ground. It's not up in the air. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. That's close. Yeah, that should be good. Hopefully. Lower it. Cat it. Catch it. Pick it up, and we're good. I think we're going to have to drive straight forward, though, because that tree stump is going to annoy us. Try not to hit any rocks or vehicles that we've left behind, not caring about too much. Right, we are all good. Now we've got to deliver that up back to that crane. I don't know why they gave us this crane over here, because that's completely unnecessary. But Anyway, now let's just get into position before this starts cutting the tree up into logs. So I'll be ready to take up the first one. And actually, while that's happening, it's actually rather irresponsible of me to be waiting all this time. So, so cutting, it's cutting. There we go. It's magically <laughs> disappeared right in front of our eyes. But I need to drive that tractor back up to the sand mill. Not the, the wood mill, sorry. So I've been busy driving that truck over into where it needs to be. Now all we have to do is just deliver these logs back into the correct order. 
and we'll be all set with this mission. So we're basically right at the end. I guess I answered my own questions at the start of this episode because now I know that the doors magically open for us. Because when I was playing by myself, it didn't even open, so I had no idea. The logs would go get cut, it would make the sound, but nothing was coming out. Thankfully, now we know what to do. Let's just go back into the truck. It's almost 100% filled now. Let's try to get there before the five hours goes up. So what's that? Going to be 40 minutes that I've completed this mission in or something like that? Which is really, really quickly. I'm actually really surprised that they gave us five hours. What? If they give us so much time, then why bother giving us like a time limit? It makes no sense to me, but let's just go back. I'm really excited for Farming Simulator 13, which we'll continue talking about that because most of you guys that are watching this are probably very excited for that as well. It's coming out in either September or October I've been reading. And if you guys have any other news, then make sure you like private message me or put it in the comments so I can see. Maybe I'll do a video specifically on news and rumors on Farming Simulator 13, which I'm very excited for. Probably as you guys can tell. Uh, but yeah, because it's going to be off a new engine. I really don't know why they've given us so many trees that we can cut. There's a couple that I've seen. There's one over there. There's another one <laughs> that's... I this, they, the trees, they must be like randomly, well not randomly generated, but someone must have put them there, so I don't really understand because there's also another couple of trees uh, right next to that factory, the woodmill factory, or the sawmill factory, whatever you want to call it. It's right up there, so I'm not too sure. So here is a tree in question that I was just talking about. There's another one over here, here, and here. Like what the hell, why is there three trees over here that we can cut? It's not like we're going to drive over here. This road's magically teleporting to some unknown universe that is parallel to ours, and we have now we have. Oh, we've got to slip, go slow over here because there's a bit of a bump. Seems like we're all good. Slow down. There we go. Camera magically changes, and we have finished before the five-hour mark. Alrighty, your order has been completed. Our customer is very happy because their order is complete. You've done a great job. So guys, thanks for watching the third mission or the third episode. And next episode will be in Monaco, where we need five trees, ten logs, and one um, wood mill chip. That's what we'll call it. Wood chips, that's what we want. Anyway, make sure you come back. Uh, what else do we have? We haven't unlocked this thing yet, which... I'll show you in the next couple of episodes, which I'm sure we will unlock, but thanks guys for watching and make sure you give it a like if you want to continue on with the campaign.